Winter on Cape Cod is a solitary time. The summer tourists a memory. But this season, visitors from the far north are drawing a crowd. Beautiful bird, unusual bird. Snowy owls have flown down from the Arctic to overwinter and hunt, spotted as far south as Florida and many more in the northeast. Experts say it's the largest migration of snowy owls to the U.S. in decades. How unusual is this year? Well, if you put it in perspective, I've been doing snowy owl research for 32 years, and this is by far the biggest year that I've ever seen. The birds themselves are big enough to cause concern at airports. Norman Smith of the Massachusetts Audubon Society heads a catch and release effort at Boston's Logan Airport, where more than 80 snowy owls have been caught this season. On average winter at Logan Airport, we remove six to eight snowy owls a winter. This wide expanse may remind the owls of their homeland to the north. Further south on Cape Cod's seaside terrain, they're thriving. Nina Coleman runs Sandy Neck Beach Park. Normally we see one or two owls. This year we're seeing five or six. While there's still much to learn about these owls, experts believe the increase is linked to a hardy food supply. They breed up in the Arctic and uh, the population eats mostly lemmings up there, which is like a, a rodent, like a hamster-sized rodent. And the lemmings are doing really well, so then you see the owl juveniles doing really well. These birds are eating rodents and waterfowl and attracting an audience. It's right on the kind of terrain that likes wide open salt marsh. Blending into the snow for which they're named, they can be hard to spot. But for avid bird watchers, braving the cold is worth it. I've always wanted to see one. The bird is gracious. It's huge. I didn't realize snowy owls were that big. With a wingspan of more than four feet, these beauties are stunning in flight. And for Smith, releasing them is always a thrill. There have been thousands of snowy owl sightings across the country this winter, and the birds are expected to hang out for another few months before they make the long flight home. In Duxbury, Massachusetts, Molly Line, Fox News.